I mean, Gary, has it sunk in yet that you are the very first Golden Bachelor? Every day it sinks in a little more. And when I walked in the mansion just now, it sunk in a lot. It's your first time in the Bachelor Mansion. Your reaction was? Uh, it was awe. Okay. I was overwhelmed by the entire scene and overwhelmed by the history of what has happened here. Right. So. If these walls could talk, Gary, I would want to hear what they have to say. <laughs> They'd probably give you some good advice, right? Some tips and tricks? I'm sure they would. Uh, I'm looking forward to pioneering my own way, but I'd, I'd take every bit of advice they could give. You know, I feel like with anybody who's doing something that has never been done before, you know, the first of anything, there's a lot of pressure, I'm sure nerves, but you seem to be taking it in stride. Is that fair? Yeah, it's pretty cool, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, nerves, I, I, people ask me, am I nervous? And it's, I feel more energized than nervous. Yeah. You know, I try to hold the nervousness down because that's wasted energy. So, yeah, I'm enjoying it. He's Gary. And I'm your first Golden Bachelor. Not many people can say they've been lucky in life to, to find a great love twice. And I know that you were previously married to your wife for 43 years. Yeah. And you said that she would be excited for this next chapter. What advice do you think she would give you right now? Well, being a bit of a hothead as she was, she would say, get the hell out there and get going with this. <laughs> um, but I think in reality, she would be thrilled for this. Um, we talked frequently as time went on and the years went on about what we expected for the other if one of us, you know, didn't live forward. And it was like we both wanted the other to be happy. So she would be very encouraging. Is there a lesson that you've learned or taken from your 43-year marriage that you're applying to this experience? Uh, I think yes. Yeah. I think if I find the right person or I'm narrowing it down, um, I think the one thing I'm going to look for is that look in the eye. Mm. I've seen it before, and I, I know the feeling when it's there. And um, if, I, if I see that, that's going to be the person that I'm going to probably pursue above others. I want to ask, are you prepared to become a heartthrob for America, though? You know, you're about to be the lead, the first Golden Bachelor. I am not prepared for that. <laughs> There, there's been a number of incidents that have kind of brought that home. Okay. You know, people that want to take pictures. And, uh, you know, I was in the yard at the lake house and some girls came giggling down to the yard wanting to know if I was the golden bachelor, wanted the pictures and everything. So uh, I've, I've got a taste of it, but that's a pretty big task. I'm not sure I'm ready for that. You're about to enter a brave new world, my friend. In fact, I heard that you just joined social media. Uh, so have the ladies been sliding into the DMs, Gary? You gotta tell me. I know absolutely nothing about social media. I mean, <laughs> He's I'm- He's like, what does sliding into the DMs I, mean? Exactly. I don't know what that is. You're very charming. You have a great story. Um, and America is being introduced to you for the first time. So I imagine that the ladies who didn't think about applying are really shooting themselves in the foot right now. Well, that's a nice thought, and I, I hope that the people that did apply, I'm able to get to know very well, and I'm going to enjoy each one of their company. Let me ask you this. How do you prepare for dating over 20 women all at once? Is there any way of preparing no. for that? <laughs> I mean, seriously, good-looking guy like you, you could probably date 20 people anytime you wanted. Is there a... Is there a direction book for that, an instruction book? There is not, and I think you're braver than me. I don't know if I could do it, Gary. I really don't. Well, we'll just take it one step at a time, exactly. one person at a time. So have you, I, I am curious though, because there have been a lot of amazing folks to come in and out of this mansion before. Have any of them reached out to you? Have you, have you received any advice from past bachelors? I haven't received any advice. Do you feel the love though? I feel like you've definitely been embraced by Bachelor Nation since they announced you as the Golden Bachelor. You know, that's, I'm glad you brought that up. That's pretty amazing. Yeah. To feel the sensitivity and the affection from everyone uh, was probably one of my biggest surprises. I mean, everyone cares, everyone's committed to this. So it's a big responsibility. Absolutely. Uh, you know, you're, it's not just you who are the Golden Bachelor, like your family becomes part of this uh, experience too. And I know how close you are with your daughters. Are you prepared for your daughters and your granddaughters to watch your journey on TV? Yes, Okay. because there's no turning back. Right. I have no choice. <laughs> and um, they've given me a lot of advice. Have they? Oh yeah, yeah. Were they it, fans of the show? Uh, they were very much fans of the show. They got me started watching it. Yeah. They were the ones that motivated me to respond early on to the casting call for the, at that time, what they were calling the Senior Bachelor. Okay. So now that it's Golden Bachelor, I'm in it.
Now, is there anything from watching, right, The Bachelor that you're like, you know what, I'm not going to do that with my season? I don't think there is. Okay. I'm going to try and, you know, take the journey as it comes, Great. be open-minded to anything. And I'm sure as I get more information, I'll have to make some of those hard decisions. Yeah. But, but no, not yet. Now, can fans of the show and Bachelor Nation expect kind of like the tropes that we're used to when it comes to this franchise? Like, will there be a first impression, Rose? Yeah, I'm guessing there will be, okay. but I'm not privy to all those conversations, so I don't know everything that's going to happen. Well, what about the fantasy suites, Gary? I gotta know, what's the deal with those? You know, how, how are you preparing for those and any rules for yourself? I just think that a fantasy suite for someone of my age may look quite different. Mm. Uh, the activities could be quite different okay. than for someone in their 20s and 30s. Alright, so those don't make you nervous at all? Like you're not they anxious really, about that? No, they really don't. Okay. Uh -uh. Well, thank you. They now, they make my daughters a lot more nervous than I was gonna me. Say, uh, yeah. What advice did they give you about kind of uh, say kissing women? They, uh, they said absolutely none of that. They said don't do it. Yeah. Well, I'm ignoring that part <laughs> of the advice, but um, they said pick your moments. Right. They pick your moments. They said enjoy every minute you can. Um, they've given good advice. I will say, having talked to so many leads. They don't go in with an idea of how many people they're gonna kiss on right, TV. Right. They just follow their yeah. heart and their right. gut. You gotta have to just be in the moment and fill it out. Right? Exactly, you Which do. Is like real life, I think. Yes. Don't you think? Yes, indeed. So let me ask you this: What are three qualities you're looking for in a partner? Ooh, um, I think I need to see a great sense of humor, uh, particularly something that is self-effacing. Uh, so the sense of humor is a big one. I, I think I'm going to be looking for someone who's sensitive, who's warm and kind, um, someone who blends with me well so that we feel a partnership. And, and that's kind of a vague answer, but there is something there. Mm. Uh, you know, I felt it before in my life, and, and it's a very important factor. I can't wait for this. Thank Can I tell you? Much. I cannot wait for this show. I also can't believe you're 71. What's the secret, Gare? Uh, good genetics, <laughs> and there's there's no bottle of pills for that. So Indiana water, huh? Yeah, you gotta f you be in a good family. I love it. Now, what do you want everyone to know about you that they might not know yet? Ooh, I'm a softy, and over the years I've become more and more of a softy. Um, I look back on my career at times when I was just the alpha guy and, and you know, charging on. And now all of a sudden, a lot of things really get me. So um, it doesn't take much. So will there be as many tears as there are kisses on your show, in your, on, in your season? We'll have to wait and see, won't we? <laughs>